along the eastern slope of the Rockies, vast rolling hills of the prairie rise up against towering peaks. This is one of the most biologically rich regions in the United States. With unmatched native plant life, glaciated wetlands, and jagged limestone peaks, this incredible landscape is unlike any other. Very little has been altered along the front since Lewis and Clark explored this region in 1805. As the Earth's human population continues to grow, truly wild places are slowly disappearing. Wild is defined as a natural state, unaffected by the hand of man. We, as humans, seek to domesticate and cultivate the world around us. But being wild is deeply rooted in the core of all living things. It is our responsibility to preserve the remaining primitive frontiers of our planet for generations to come. So we started out fishing this lake that was our main motive of the trip. They only rose when it was glassy water. And then as soon as the wind came through, it would put them all down and we'd wait there for about 20 minutes until the wind died down again and they start rising again. I hooked one, lost him. As soon as we lost him, the wind came and didn't stop. So we retreated to the Spring Creeks. In the heat of the summer, when temperatures are on the rise, Spring Creeks are fed with cold, clear water. Stream banks are alive with protein-rich grasshoppers, and the trout are well aware. Grasshopper fishing on these small waters isn't exactly technical. You walk in there and you see no evidence of human life anywhere. You don't see any footprints or pathways. It was covered with trees, protected, really small water and wasn't affected by the wind as much as the lakes. Hopper fishing is one of my favorite things to do because they just eat your fly so aggressively. All you have to do is put the fly right on the bank in the shade and they're probably gonna eat it. The struggle is landing the fish. Long distance release. I like to fish barbless because I like to leave as small of a mark on the fish as possible. It makes it way harder for me to land them, but that's just part of the challenge. Hell yeah. Oh, he's in the bush. I think he got me caught on the bush. There's so many little creeks that people drive right past that hold big wild fish. 
Yes, he destroyed that! Oh my god! Did you see that? After losing so many fish to a barbless hook and maybe a little bit of fishing insufficiency, it's extremely rewarding to finally get fish to hand. What? He's cute. Bit the shit out of it. Look, he's gonna have bite marks on it. He was on for a second. I thought he was gonna get stuck. This fish is gonna have bite marks on it. Look at that. Massive 22 brown just came in and T-boned it. Like latched onto it. So we got a streamer on. As far as trout fishing goes, the three days Will and I spent out on the front was as good as it gets. It was non-stop, dry fly, big hopper eats all day. Completely out of control. Everywhere we thought there was going to be a fish, sure enough, he was there, looking up, ready to eat, ready to crush the hopper. We were fishing heavy tippet, fishing the same bug all day, missing legs, chewed up, teeth marks, the whole thing. They didn't care, they were ready to eat. That's a nice one. Such a sick eat, dude. Just... Dude, that's a really good one. <laughs> the whole time, I kept feeling like I was in Patagonia between the wind, the size of the fish, the quality of the fish, and these sneaky little spring creeks that you otherwise wouldn't even know are there. As a trout angler, these are the kind of things you dream about. Small water, big fish, visual dry fly eats. For the three days we were there, we didn't see anyone else fishing clear that these spots are just not known about. And that's something special that you don't see too often in the West anymore. I've chased trout all over the world. I've guided down in Argentina and Patagonia for five years. And this is as good as trout fishing gets. As good as there, as good as anywhere I've been. As we fished throughout the day, Will and I alternated fish for fish. And sometimes that was cast for cast or even every other cast. In general, Brown trout have a reputation of being pretty smart fish. These trout show a lot more aggression than usual, so they have no fear of eating what's in front of them. You can tell they haven't been fished to very much in their lives. Wild places like the front are extremely special and cannot be taken for granted. It is our responsibility to keep our public lands public and to preserve these amazing places for the future. Please vote for your public lands so we can continue to enjoy these absolutely incredible places.